Hello all. Um, thank you for allowing me to report back on some of Birmingham City Council progress in delivering and upscaling our retrofit activity. Since last year's summit, we've successfully delivered the largest lads programme in the country. Despite real challenges created by the funding timescales, the team was able to retrofit over 650 homes, installing over 1500 measures, improving the energy efficiency and the quality of lives for people struggling in the current climates. You will hear from some of the residents who have been part of that project. It was not without its difficulties, and we're looking at all the lessons learned to ensure we're ready to improve on future projects. Due to the council-led LADS project and support of amazing partners, we know that 650 families are now living in warmer and cheaper to run homes this winter. Earlier this year, we started delivery of our SHDF programme. This will see retrofit to over 2,000 of the council's social homes. The programme involves nine major projects, which will really help our understanding of retrofitting across some of the city's most common housing archetypes, and some of those archetypes being some of the worst. It also includes the whole house retrofit project, which Cats Mahmood has spoken about. The SHDF programme must be seen as the platform to scale the retrofit. It will help to gather essential data, learning and understanding and also begin to build the local supply chain to meet the future demand. In addition, delivery through the Eco4 programme has already started. We are working with our existing partners so that over the coming months we'll be able to massively increase the scale of this project. This work is linking very closely into the Council's Cost of Living Strategic Response Programme to ensure we're effectively targeting interventions where they are most needed tracking the impacts of those interventions and working in partnership with energy providers. This will lead to significant private investment in retrofit and aims to drive fuel savings for our residents of over £2 million a year. We are developing improved approaches to making retrofit business as usual within our social housing stock by aligning it with ongoing major capital programmes. This will lead to increased efficiencies, savings and more importantly, improve tenant experience and will deliver on future carbon savings. We are developing a plan to ensure that the local workforce is able to benefit from this huge opportunity as well. At the same time, several grants and finance opportunities are also being explored. So in summary, a lot is already happening, but it must continue to grow. Scaling up is not an option. To help our climate, to reduce bills for our residents and tackle inequalities and improve people's health and well-being, it is essential that together we continue to drive this programme. It would be remiss, remiss of me not to use this opportunity to again restate the view that a longer term government funding strategy for retrofit is essential in allowing us to move effectively, plan, mobilise, incentivise supply chains, create more jobs, and improve the quality of lives for those most impacted and achieve our overall decarbonisation objectives. Thank you and I look forward to your questions later.